You know them, I know them. I'm sure we've all heard of this guild. They're called the Rebel Guild. I'm pretty sure it's just Rebel, although correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I know a lot of people would probably do that anyway. So yeah, the guild, it's pretty well known on the server. I'm pretty sure we've all seen people in the lobbies and stuff like that with the tag Rebel with like a Pokeball or whatever that is. I, I honestly don't know. I'll put like screenshots and stuff on screen uh, throughout the video and stuff like that. I'm sure we've all heard of them or, or know that they're a very popular, very well-known guild. They're number four on the guild leaderboards, I believe. Uh, so foundation's number one. I'm in raid, we're number five. I wanna say that they're number four. I, I think that's correct. Anyway, so yeah, they're the thing about Rebel that really strikes a lot of people out as in terms of a guild is that they have a lot of really good players. Like, I can't think of a lot of examples off the top of my head. I think Killum is in the guild. I, I know uh, Paul Stolarov is also in that guild, but a lot of people have... Especially if you're in the Blitz community, a lot of people have like specific opinions about Paul Stolarov. Anyway, so I'm not I'm not gonna go over like a ton of examples. I'm just gonna, I'm here to discuss: Is the Rebel Guild any good? Should you join them, and why? And first of all, let me get this disclaimer out of there. This isn't a promotion or anything. I'm not part of the Rebel Guild personally. I'm in I'm in raid, and the guild is. I'm gonna be using uh, my guild actually for a couple of examples on why you should or shouldn't join the Rebel Guild. And another little disclaimer: I know a lot of people will have you know very forward opinions about people. In and the Rebel Guild itself. So I'm I'm not really gonna cover like people's opinions about the guild. I'm like looking at it from an outsider's perspective. So I I know it's very intense. It's a very uh, intense situation, you could call it. I'm not really sure what else to call it. Um, but I'm not gonna be covering that. That's not gonna be part of the video. I'm looking at it from an outsider's perspective. Should you or should you not join the Rebel Guild if you're qualified? So let's start it out simple. The Rebel Guild, I don't actually know what level they are, but I know they're above level 15 because they have the blue tag and I am terrible at video games. Uh, yeah, so they have the blue tag. That, that, that means that they're above level uh, 15 and probably over level 18 so one good reason to join the guild obviously is that there's a ton of leaderboard players like you look you look everywhere on the list you, you probably re can recognize a lot of the names so that's obviously a very very tempting reason to join the rebel guild and there's just a lot of really good players out there if you do guild events and stuff like that like gvgs i can't even imagine like going up against rebel like in a gvg like that that honestly seems like it'd be horrible to like be the other team but i mean again this is all just like my like an outsider's opinion not like talking about like the skill of specific members what the heck i'm just gonna slash up because this this game is glitching i i have no idea what just happened so yeah there's a lot of really good players in that guild and the reason you'd probably want to join a guild like that if you're qualified and are capable of being with a guild like that is because it will really help improve your minecraft skill whether it be in like you know specific game modes on hypixel and stuff like that like there's gonna be a lot of people that are sharing the same like passion and like skill as you so if you're qualified for the guild that generally means you have a fair amount of skill or you know like stats and stuff like that so you'd probably fit in pretty well and you might meet a ton of really nice people in that guild and the thing that's really shocked me about rebel is that they've really got like all the bases covered in terms of like you know skill leaderboard players and stuff like that they really do have a stacked guild list like you go into like almost any lobby like classic games to sky wars and stuff like that there's gonna be like a rebel member there and it's it's kind of haunting and kind of crazy so that also shows how active their guild is which guild activity that's what determines guild level the thing i have about like guild level that i really don't like with the update and stuff like that is that it's not really based around skill like like for instance games like skywars and stuff like that you can just like hardcore grind those for an hour whereas like a game of uhc which would take the same amount of time it doesn't reward the same amount of xp as like an average wl so for instance take my guild like we're raid and we're one slot below the rebel guild in terms of guild level but, okay, no offense to my guild any, in any way. I know a lot of them are probably watching this. I'm not, I don't mean to offend you or anything. We are not the Rebel Guild. We do not have that same amount of skill and, like, passion for the game that they do in terms of leaderboards and skill and stuff like that. So, you know, guild level and that, that that's why, like, a guild like mine would be really good for getting a high guild level. But for something like Rebel, like, they're just gonna level up basically around the same speed as we do. That's why for all the people that think that guild level is, is based on skill, it, it's really not. Like, joining a guild like the Foundation and stuff like that, that doesn't necessarily mean that like a lot of the players are good i mean obviously there's gonna be a, a few really good players but overall yes the rebel guild does meet both the requirements of having a good guild which are generally skill and having activity and from what i heard a lot of the people in it are really nice but the other problem with having a really like try hard guild is that sometimes like people that try hard games and stuff like that they can get a little you know into their game and stuff like that and sometimes that leads to be really toxic which again a lot of people will have little comments about people in rebel about but 
you know, I'm not covering that again, I'm talking about, like, from a skill-based level, not talking about, like, the guild overall. Which could be a really big turnoff for a lot of people. They think that a guild is kind of like, you know, like a family in a sense, I guess you could say. I'm not really sure what else to call it. Because a lot of people take their guilds to heart and they really like a lot of the people that are in their guild. If you don't really like guilds that are really, like, try-hard and don't really spend time, like, talking to each other, then maybe the rebel guild might not necessarily be someplace you'd fit in. Especially if you don't meet the requirements. But overall, from what I've seen from a statistical standpoint about the rebel guild they look like a very very good guild overall they have a lot of really good people from like every game mode which is something rare in most guilds like you think about like some guilds like ays back when ays was the thing uh they pretty much try harded like a bunch of like specific games like mega walls and blitz but like that that was pretty they didn't really like you know try hard paintball and stuff like that but i'm pretty sure there's a bunch of like paintball tryhards in rebel as well they just have people everywhere they have leaderboard players just galore and they they just they're very stacked in terms of player ability so if you want to join the rebel guild that's entirely your decision I, this is again not a promotional video i'm not promoting the rebel guild in any way because first of all i'm not a part of it second of all i don't know anyone in it and third of all i actually you know from a personal standpoint like i actually don't like the rebel guild that much just because a lot of their members are, are pretty toxic but like i've heard things about what's happened like with the guild members to other like members of the community and stuff like that and some of them a lot of them are like you know super like really shady and stuff like that so i'm not i'm not actually good that's for an entirely different video that i'm never gonna make because i don't want to cover that kind of stuff so that's that's personally why i don't really like the rebel guild that much but i mean hey if if you are qualified for it and you want to fit into a guild that has a lot of really good players it's entirely entirely your decision to make and honestly i would highly recommend you to do that because you're going to really upgrade your pvp skills slash you know game skills and stuff like that there's just a lot of resources that you'll have available to you there's a lot of people you could play with and there's just overall just a really a really like you know overpowering feeling that you would feel if you were in that kind of guild so you know again it's all your decision i just kind of made this video just because it was like an outsider standpoint and from a statistical point of view the rebel guild is amazing from a you know hearing stories and hearing people's opinions about it point of view it's horrible so again it's take it with a grain of salt take everything i say with a grain of salt really in all my videos because this is the internet and uh yeah that's pretty much it try out some try hard guilds and stuff like that see if it's your taste or if not just try a casual guild and stuff like that it's entirely your decision again i've said like 30 times but you know i just want to get that emphasis out because i'm not supporting any guild in any way i honestly think people that try hard guilds too much are kind of stupid but you know that that's just me again it's just me it's omicron woohoo okay anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this was just kind of a weird video i should be in school by the time this video comes up because time zones and stuff like that i'm just scheduling uploads because school <laughs> ah okay anyway yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time peace out